Hey guys, today YouTube, Denny here from Deeds Fishing. On today's episode, I'll be teaching you how to make your very own soft plastic. Just imagine it, making something from absolutely nothing to be able to catch big fish with it. If you get excited by that kind of stuff, then you're going to like this channel. So sit back, relax, and I hope I teach you something interesting. Firstly, you want to grab about a handful of clay and roll it in between your hands for about 30 seconds so that it's easy to work with. Roll this clay out into a worm shaped design about 10 to 15 mil in thickness. To make the grooves, I just grabbed two paddle pop sticks, a bunch of skewers and hot glued them onto each other. You then want to grab your little worm and add it to the skewers. Roll them out until you have the desired design that you are happy with. Now you want to create the tail. So grab some more polymer clay, squish it in your hands, and then you want to roll it out with your mug or rolling pin. Until it is about three to five mil thick. Grab your old pepper lid so that you have a symmetrical circle and press down on it. Then pull away the excess clay that you don't need and you should be left with a perfect circle. You want to go about halfway into the center of it and put two lines. Cut these lines out and then join them together with another semicircle in the middle of the clay. You should be now left with a half looking question mark. Grab a little bit more clay, roll it out to be about a 2mm thin cylinder and chop that in half. This is just to transition the body of the grub to the tail so that you don't have a 90 degree bend in your soft plastic. Position the body up against the tail and then add this little bit of clay that you've just chopped out. With your fingers, massage it in lightly until it is a smooth transition. Once you are happy with your design, you can then add it to the oven. Put it in the oven at 120 degrees Celsius for about 10 to 15 minutes. Once the clay has set in the oven, remove it and let it cool down. Grab some cardboard, cut out a base and some walls. You want these walls to just be above the size of the grub. This will be the box that the grub will sit in so that you can make your mold. Super glue your grub into the box, into the center of the box. You want to mix up about 100 milliliters of the silicone rubber and add your catalyst. 
Remember to mix this thoroughly so that it sets evenly. Once you have mixed the silicone rubber thoroughly, you can then pour it on top of the grub and let it to sit for 24 hours. After 24 hours, you can then remove the cardboard and remove the grub from the mold. make your soft plastics. Now remember, pasta salt is extremely dangerous, extremely hot and extremely poisonous. So always take precautions, wear your safety equipment, your respiratory protector and your safety gloves. I like to use welding gloves as they're very thick leather and you will not get burnt using them. Microwave your pasta sole for a minute, remove it, give it a quick stir, and then add it back to the microwave for 30 seconds burst until it is clear. Once the pasta salt is clear, you can then add your glitter. After adding your glitter, you want to microwave for another 15 seconds and you're ready to pour. Just remember that the plastic stole is extremely hot and extremely dangerous, so always take precautions and wear your safety equipment. Slowly pour the plastic stole into the mold. Now don't worry if you overspill it, you can always trim it up after the plastic stole has set with a pair of scissors. Leave your pasta salt to set for five to 10 minutes. Once it is hardened, then remove it from the mold and add it to water for a further five minutes to fully harden. If you have over poured the mold, just simply pull away the excess and trim up the rest with a pair of scissors. choose to use glitter or some acrylic inks to colour your soft plastics. Once you have made your soft plastic, 
You can then reheat the pasta salt on 30 second bursts until it is liquid again and add more color as you wish. And that is it. You've now made your very own grub. So go out there, catch some fish, and most of all, remember to have fun. This has been another production by Dee's Fishings. Get out there and catch some fish. Mm -hmm.